Hello and welcome to our next video flow measurement. This time we're talking about turbine. Turbine flow measurement. How is it working? It's easy. We do have a turbine inside our tube. There is our tube. In here we have the streaming liquid, or a streaming thing, let's call it. Yeah. Then, first thing we have, we do have some fixed installed guide vanes. So these guide vanes, they will produce a little wheel here, okay? And Inside there, there's a bearing, there's a shaft, yeah. and after the guide vanes, we do have practically the same thing, but a thing which can rotate now. This is the turbine. Yeah. The guide vanes producing a swirl, and the turbine is straightening them out again. This means the more flow, the more spin will the turbine have. There are then little magnets or something like this on the spinning shaft and out there we can measure without touching how many RPM this turbine currently is doing. That's it. That's the principle. Turbine flow measurement. Of course the turbine and the velocity and the viscosity of this liquid and so on, they need to be calibrated. Yeah. But then these things, they work really well. Yeah? So if the viscosity and thing is, is constant, they work with high accuracy. Yeah? Also, temperature for turbines usually no, not a big issue. I can also measure liquids which are not conductive. Disadvantages is that the viscosity needs to be known, yeah? so that I can calibrate the thing. If there are some particles inside, and fibers, is fibers especially, yeah, they will clock. They will clock the turbine. Yeah. Poo, that's not very good. Yeah. And the measurement range should not be over overwhelmed. Yeah. Or overwhelmed. The, the, the measurement range, range should be kept. Yeah. Because then it's speeding up too fast. Yeah. And then the bearings will get hurt. Let's call it hurt. Yeah. Turbine flow measurement. This inside a tube. Sometimes turbine flow measurements are also used in bigger areas. Yeah? So let's say if you have a power plant and this there's the outlet, yeah? and this outlet is broad, let's say I don't know, three, four meters. Yeah? And it's concrete, so there are concrete walls here. Yeah? So this is the turbine outlet, and we want to know how much water has passed the turbine. There is the stream streaming away. Yeah. Usually you can step on here and you just use a thing like a selfie stick, but not with the photo taker <laughs> it called smartphone on the other end, but with some little turbine. And you just stick it in here. Yeah. You stick it in here. Measure how many flow, you stick it in here, measure how many flow, you stick it in here, measure how many flow, and then you know at least the velocities here, and from the velocities you can calculate on the whole area, okay, in different heights and so on. Yeah. This would also be turbine flow measurement. Yeah. This is how we can measure flows in river streams or something like this, just to measure a little part of it and then calculate to the to the whole thing. Turbine flow measurement. Also very easy principle. Next time we're talking about thermal flow measurement. Okay, not turbine, thermal flow measurement. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.